Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading and as always I hope you're well and um, Virgo if you are new here my name is Joe and I will be doing a reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements, okay? Also uh, Virgo as usual, uh, please do keep in mind that my readings are timeless, they are general so just take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. And the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings when you come across them or if a title catches your attention that's why they're timeless that's usually how it works do feel free to browse my channel you might want to check some of the previous readings that i've done for your sign but virgo more than anything do check what other signs you have in other placements mostly moon rising and venus don't just focus on your sun sign and then you can go ahead and check out some of the readings that I've done specifically for those signs. Mostly if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you at this current moment of your life. Sometimes that happens. And it usually means that your messages are just simply coming stronger from those placements. It all depends on your current life path and journey. And last but not least, please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's always the best way to support a channel and to help it grow. And thank you to all of you who have already liked, commented, subscribed, and for your kind donations. I truly appreciate all of your support. All right, Virgo. All right, let's get started. Virgo, you got the Knight of Wands as the starting energy for your reading, or the current energy that you're dealing with, or we'll be dealing with soon. Or the heart of the matter and uh, this energy is giving me the it's kind of like the impression of I think this is you who's having a hard time making a decision about something uh, maybe you're not addressing something the way you're meant to might be a little bit of overthinking here and you're having a hard time too much of an in and out, maybe, should I, should I not, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, you're having a bit of a... Wait a minute. So I feel a conflict here. I don't know if this is you, really. Give me a second. Yeah. Uh... I, uh, okay, give me a second, okay? Because you're still having a problem here making a decision, and I don't know if it's with someone that you're dealing with or it's something within you. Okay, but because the energy that's crossing it could be a challenge or a blockage is the two of swords. And this is about decisions, but you see, you're blindfolded and you're you're really having a hard time um, deciding what would be best. This is why we have this in and out energy. But I think there might be someone involved here that is also not very stable. It's not just you. I think it's more them and it's somehow reflecting on you and you're having a hard time. If you're dealing with someone who's not very stable, you're having a hard time making a decision about them. That's what I'm trying to say. And if it's not a person, it could be an environment or situation or whatever. Okay, and if not, it's just you, you're just having a hard time just making the best decision about something. Let's see, well, let's continue. The energy that's crowning in your conscious mind and you are aware of, or you're constantly thinking about is the ease of wants. You really want something here. It's not about the passion, the drive, the excitement. Probably constantly thinking about this. You really want something here. You desire it. It, it excites you. But you're having a hard time making a decision. I think I'm going to have to leave it either way. You're going to have to fit this the best way it resonates for you. Okay? Unless I, uh, something else comes out or I see something else or feel something else, then I'll let you know. But uh, let's try to keep it as general as possible. So you're going to have to adapt to the reading as much as you can as, or you know, try to make sense as it mo mostly resonates for you. I'm going to try to give you the best I can without 
diving too deep because then I can um, confuse the, the I can even I can get confused okay so let's just try to keep it as okay so the energy that's below you and your subconscious mind you're not aware of and you should and um, Virgo um, divine is really trying to tell you this you know this is what you're not seeing is the Emperor this is Aries energy and this is telling you that Virgo it's time for you to be in charge of your life of your destiny you are meant to be in your power and make the decisions or it's time to make a decision about something and quit quit fucking around I'm sorry excuse my French but that's what it hurt stop fucking around okay whether this is with someone or with something or some plan that you're you have in your mind it's time to do do, do something about it stop being so indecisive about this okay it's time for you to to be in control be in charge very fire energy because the emperor is Aries energy he's the one is fire we got the night watch which is fire there's something really trying to you know it's 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 cooking got a little it's a small little gnat looks like a fly but it's not a fly it's a gnat but anyway you're having a hard time making a decision mostly fire energy here with swords so some of you might have strong fire in your charts but uh, you're not making the best use of it it's just here in your desires you really want something very passionately very exciting but you're having a hard time making the decision and now I see why you have people or external influences that are trying to uh, criticize you, judge you, manipulate you, question you. Why are you doing this or why do you want to do that, right? So this, this could be, it could be for some of you. For some of you are probably just not in the right environment. And you want to leave this behind and pursue your passions. Because behind you, you got the Three of Pentacles and that's what has to be left behind it has to be left in the past or it's where you're coming from it's this environment very dark environment you're not you're not happy where you're at you're tired of dealing with the same some of you could be doing something that has already become mundane boring and I think you're ready for something fresh something new you don't want to deal with this anymore if it's a place a job I don't know I've got the feeling of a you know very dark well it could be I don't know but uh, it's just the energy it's just very dark there's no light you're not you're not doing what you're meant to do you're not shining the way you should be shining and you want to you don't want to deal with this anymore. You don't want to be engaged with this uh, co-workers, people, relationships. You're ready for something new. This is in your near future. I really like this. This is where you're meant to go. Where you're meant to step to. And it's the Queen of Pentacles. This is you. Uh, mostly Capricorn energy but it's earth divine earth energy okay so this is you sitting in your energy in your in your divine feminine earth energy it doesn't matter what gender you are but you're meant to in this divine feminine you're meant to sit you're meant to embody this divine feminine so you can start um, proper proper planning sit with your own self and really try to make sense and figure out what do you want from now on you know this is giving yourself that proper time to really make the decisions and that maybe you're ready to break free from some from something and learning to become more independent and self-sufficient 
right? I'm telling you, it's time to be in charge. If some of you are, you know, wondering how you can provide for others who depend on you, which is perfectly normal, especially if you're a mother or mother figure or a single parent. Um, it's just, uh, I think you've been called to do some proper planning and uh, that you can make it, you can pull through, you can, you can do this, but uh, don't rush into things. Support yourself and do, don't be too hard on yourself. Okay? But stop. It's like... I feel that for some of you, it could be something like... Maybe you want to leave a... A job, an office job. One of those, you know... eight or nine to five job and become a entrepreneur or self-employed work at home okay but it's because you want to pursue your passions and if not it's something else but it has pretty much the same type of energy you just want to release something so you can go on and go after what you want and, and be on your own People are criticizing you if you've already said something about, you know, don't let that happen, please. Don't let people drive you away from your desires, your dreams. Okay. It's how you should see yourself or respond to situations, ten of swords. Backstabbing. Right. If you don't uh, pursue your dreams, desires, you're going to be, this is about that self-betrayal. You're going to end up betraying yourself. And there's no worse betrayal in life, Virgo, than betraying yourself. Self-betrayal is the worst. You have to have faith and trust. Okay? And I know some of you have gone through some type of backstabbing already. And if this is the case, it's time for you then to really understand that. Then maybe it's time for you to be on your own, you know, and to stop dealing with people and situations that keep uh, hurting you, stabbing you in the back. False promises. Some of you have been waiting for something. A raise. A bonus. A better position. And it's not happening. Okay? So... That's a green light for you to then sit down with yourself and start planning what would be best but it's time to get rid of this indecisiveness should I, shouldn't I you see because I got the Knight of Wands right in the middle of both you know let's just pretend I don't know what your situation is but if this is like an office or the relationship that you're in or the environment where you're not happy and this is your, your decisive energy where you don't know what to do and it's about you becoming independent from this See how that Knight of Wands is jumping from one to the other? That's exactly what I'm seeing. And in your mind, you constantly have this crowning you. I think this is a calling. And they're telling you. You have the power, you have the will to do whatever it is that you want. Don't let fear get the best of you. Don't betray yourself, please. Surrounding, influencing, inspiring you. We've got the lovers, Gemini energy. This is about being in the right divine place meant for you. You're feeling this. This energy is calling you. 
So you are meant to be somewhere where you are being divinely guided to be in a place where everything is equal. See how they're naked? That's about learning to be vulnerable. And being vulnerable talks about, well, it's allowing yourself to be your true self. Stropping the mask and no, no longer pretending to be or to be doing something that you're not or you don't enjoy doing. You see, being vulnerable is not just about emotions and things like that. It's also about allowing yourself to be to express yourself and show who you truly are. Once you do that, trust me, things start becoming much better for you. In your hopes and fears, you got the Queen of Swords, you're overthinking. It's time to deal with something. And this is what you're uh, having a hard time. Okay, the Queen of Swords can still deal with things, but she has a bit of a hard time. She's not like the King of Swords, okay? Uh, stop overthinking and overcomplicating things. Yeah, I think that some of you, something in your mind is holding you back and telling you, you know, what if? This is the what ifs. What if it doesn't work out? What if I don't find the job that I'm looking for? What if I tried and, and it doesn't work out or I'm not good at it after all, you know? Queen of Swords is, is, is trying to address things. It's stop overthinking things so much. Just, uh, it's time to deal with it. And just go for it. You know, Rome wasn't built in one day. It's important that you do proper planning, okay? Now, if you're going to leave a job, you know, I'm not telling you to leave it immediately. No, it's always important to do a transition. Always make sure you have a backup plan. That's what they're telling you right here. Okay? I don't want you sending me emails telling me that you're, you're selling uh, pencils and pencil sharpeners in the street because of my reading. Just uh, stop overthinking things, but do proper planning before you take action. In your hope, I mean, sorry, the outcome or the advice. Virgo, you got the sun. That's telling you. Go after your dreams. Go after your passions. Go after what makes you happy. You are given an opportunity here to, to start something new. And to truly be happy. I don't know if I said Leo energy. Okay. Wow. A new beginning, Virgo. Okay. Be true to yourself, be true to your emotions. Page of Cups usually brushes their emotions under the carpet and they say, you know, this is all someone who's not very stable. If you are dealing with someone who's not very stable and you're having a hard time making a decision, you know, uh, Virgo, it's time, you know. But, uh, it's time to get serious and stop clowning around. The Page of Cups can clown around a little too much sometimes. Okay? Nine of Wands, step out of this cage. You're meant to put yourself out there and shine. Stop uh, hiding behind these bars. You are overprotecting yourself. Seven of Cups. Again, be true to your emotions. Don't uh, let your emotions get the best of you. Don't get distracted. Keep your eyes on the prize. Go after what emotionally fulfills you. And try to get a mental and emotional clarity of what it is that you want. Okay? Keep your eyes on the prize. All right, Virgo. Virgo, let's uh, get additional messages. <laughs> there you are with the hermit but below the deck, you know. That's you following your dreams. That's you allowing your star to um, 
show you the path. This is you going after your your desires and using your wisdom. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're saying, let's get additional messages, advice, or warnings from this other deck, just in case I'm missing something. Or if something else wants to come out, then we will close your reading with this. Uh, I'm sorry, with the Dream Decoder or Oracle message. Okay. And then I get the Page of uh, Wands. You know, the Virgo, the Hermit. It's almost like the page. You know, a long journey. You know, a slow transition, a slow movement. Just start taking the first steps. Slowly, take your time, have faith. You will become that old sage. You know, I'm not saying that you are old or anything like that, but you will become wiser with time. But start walking down that path. Okay. Okay, what other messages, advice, or warnings do you have for Virgo regarding this situation, please? Something else you need to know? They said to take that one. What else do you need to tell Virgo, please? Anything else for Virgo, please? Thank you. Wow. That's it. Okay, I got three cards, I think. And then I got the world card in the bottom of the deck, which is Virgo. It's time to close a cycle here. It's time for an end, to put an end for a new beginning. Okay? It's time for a new beginning. Time for something new. Okay, there we go. The card, two cards to flow. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so one card that flew fell right on top of the Queen of Pentacles, and it's exactly the Queen of Pentacles. So this is that proper planning. Um, it's telling me that you know you're meant to. To really see that you can do it, you you it's this independence. You can pull through, you can pull you can you can do it. You can become self-sufficient. And you don't have to rely on anything. But stop overthinking things, stop uh this undecisiveness, okay? Whatever it is that you're dealing with, if it's a relationship, like I said, a job, whatever, it's time for you to, I think it's time for you to go solo. Why? Because you're meant to be in a place where you're meant to be more divine meant to be in okay so it's time to get yourself out of this five of pentacle mentality thinking that you're not going to be able to do it that you have to settle for less no virgo uh no 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 don't do that don't 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 betray yourself okay you, you're gonna i think you might regret it quite a lot in the future okay Go after your passions. Don't 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 think that you're not good enough, that you're not allowed to have this, that you're not worthy of having something. Okay? And Virgo, you got the high priestess, which is Piscean energy, and you know, Virgo, I always say that the high priestess, which is number two, is always an evolved version of the two of swords. And the right away they all are almost similar in colors and everything but if you look carefully uh she has a crescent moon above her that's fears above you they rule you here she has a crescent moon below her which is she has finally mastered her fears and she has learned to embrace the mystery she is no longer blindfolded now she listens she sees where her third eye she listens to her intuition that's what you have to do okay do not rely on your two eyes, rely on your third eye, okay? And uh, trust yourself, trust your intuition, trust your inner voice. Let yourself be guided, okay? You're meant to be somewhere else where you're meant to be happy. Okay, let's close your reading with the Dream Decoder. Remember that whatever message or dream um, 
meaning comes out of this uh, deck. It doesn't matter if you've had the stream or not. Maybe you will at some point. If not, it doesn't matter. Okay? Just take it as additional advice that might help you later down in your journey. Oh, and remember that it may or may not be related with the uh, reading in any way, shape, or form. Like I said, just take it as additional advice. Numbers. Okay, so you got numbers. And numbers in a dream can be significant. Some initial possibilities to consider are house or apartment numbers, phone numbers, and meaningful dates, for example, birthdays or anniversaries. A dream about your own PI personal identification number or PIN may suggest you're being too secretive or self-centered. If a two-digit or more number fails to reveal meaning, try looking at the individual digits, digits in turn. If you are still stumped, take a numeral, numer, numerological approach. Numerology looks at the symbolic meanings of numbers, especially in terms of spiritual growth. In brief, number one suggests new beginnings. Two, relationships. Three, creativity. Four is stability. Five is change. Six is nurturing. Seven is truth. Eight is wealth. Nine, awareness. And zero is timelessness and eternity. In general, odd numbers are perceived as possibly anxious or threatening, and even numbers as more reassuring, reassuring and positive. Of course, small numbers can appear as things. If, for example, there are two horses in a dream, perhaps they represent a significant pairing in your life. Okay, a significant pairing, you know, maybe you, that's be you being in the right environment, relationship, or whatever. Okay, Virgo, I hope that uh, makes sense for you. Okay. But uh, more than anything, I sure do hope that this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life. And uh, if you do like it and enjoy it, please do hit the like button, leave a comment. I would surely, truly appreciate it very much. And very go. As usual, I hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye.